Hello everyone, this is Teacher Jinjin T. Gandeza. Ang video na ito ay tungkol sa Introduction of Geometric Sequence. By definition, a geometric sequence or geometric progression is a sequence in which each successive term is obtained from the preceding term by multiplying it by a fixed number called the common ratio. To get the common ratio, divide the succeeding term by the preceding term. The general term or the nth term of the geometric sequence is given by a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1, where a sub n is the nth term, a sub 1 is the first term, n is the number of term, and r is the common ratio. Ang example ng geometric sequence ay 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. Kung mapapansin ninyo, kapag minultiply natin to sa 2, magiging 4 times 2 is equal to 8, times 2 is equal to 16, times 2 is equal to 32. So, ang tawag dito ay common ratio or yung R. Kapag kinukuha naman natin yung common ratio, i-divide natin yung succeeding term by the preceding term. So, 30 divided by 10 is equal to 3. 90 divided by 30 is equal to 3. 270 divided by 90 is equal to 3. So, this is the common ratio. I-divide lang natin yung succeeding term sa preceding term. Sa video na ito ay ituturo ko rin sa inyo kung paano mag-verify ng geometry. Find the missing terms at finding the next terms. Just keep on watching. Hello mga anak shis! Welcome to Math TV PH. Ang channel na ito ay tungkol sa math tutorials, lectures, or discussions na Tagalog at Taglish na dedicated sa lahat ng mga estudyante. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe, at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Isang mapagpalang araw sa inyong lahat. So, dito sa mga examples na to, i-verify natin whether the following sequences are geometric or not. So, para ma-verify natin kung geometric or hindi ba siya geometric, ay i-divide lang natin yung second term sa first term or yung third term sa second term or yung third term sa third term. For example, number 1, 5, 20, 80, and 320. So, kung napapansin ninyo, meron siyang tatlong tuldok or ellipses. Ang ibig sabihin nito ay infinite geometric sequence. Para makuha natin yung common ratio, i-divide natin yung 20 sa 5. So, 20 divided by 5 is equal to 4. 80 divided by 20 is equal to 4. 320 divided by 80 is equal to 4. So, meron silang pare-parehong sagot. Ibig sabihin, this is an example of geometric sequence. Number 2, 5, negative 10, 20, negative 40. So, kagaya ng ginawa natin kanina ay i-divide lang din natin yung second term sa first term. So, negative 10 divided by 5 is equal to negative 2. 20 divided by negative 10 is equal to negative 2. Negative 40 divided by 20 is equal to negative 2. Meron silang pare-parehong sagot. Ibig sabihin, this is an example of geometric sequence. At kung napapansin ninyo, wala siyang ellipses na hindi katulad dito. Ang ibig sabihin nito ay finite geometric sequence or may hangganan. From 5 lang siya hanggang negative 40. Next, number 3, 4, 0, 0, 0. Okay, so 0 divided by 4 is equal to 0. But, 0 divided by 0 is undefined, meaning unclear or unexplained yung 0 divided by 0. Ibig sabihin, this is not a geometric sequence. Number 4, 1, 0 0.6, 0 0.36, and 0 0.216. 0 0.6 divided by 1 is equal to 0 0.6. 0 0.36 divided by 0 0.6 is equal to 0 0.6. 0 0.216 divided by 0 0.36 is equal to 0 0.6. Meron silang pare-parehong sagot, meaning this is an example of geometric sequence. Number 5, 10 over 3, 10 over 6, 10 over 9, 10 over 15. So, 10 over 6 divided by 10 over 3 is equal to 1 half. Then, 10 over 9 divided by 10 over 6 is equal to 2 thirds. So, dito pa lang, hindi na sila pare-pareho. Ibig sabihin, this is not a geometric sequence. So, para malaman natin kung geometric or not ba siya, i-check lang natin yung common ratio niya by dividing the second term to the first term and ganun din sa third term to the second term and fourth term and so on. Next, proceed tayo sa finding the missing terms. 
di ba, kapag kinukuha natin yung common ratio, dinidivide natin yung second term to the first term at yung third term to the second term. Ngayon, kapag kinukuha natin yung missing terms or the next terms, magmultiply tayo ng common ratio. Para mas maintindan ninyo, example number 1, meron tayong 3, 12, 48, then find the next two terms. So, para makuha natin yung nandito, i-divide lang natin yung second term to the first term. So, 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4, or 48 divided by 12 is equal to 4. Ngayon, para makuha yung next term, i-multiply natin to sa 4. So, 48 times 4 is equal to 192. Then, 192 times 4 is equal to 768. Okay, another example. Dito naman, nawawala yung first two terms. So, ang gagawin natin dyan, kunin natin yung common ratio, 64 divided by 32 is equal to 2. And, 128 divided by 64 is equal to 2. So, para makuha natin yung naan dito, yung mas nauna sa kanya, ang gagawin nyo dyan ay i-divide nyo to sa 2 para makuha yung nandito sa first two term. So, 32, 32 divided by 2 is equal to 16. And, 16 divided by 2 is equal to 8. Okay, so, ganun ha. Kapag pabaliktad naman, divide. Kapag finding the next term, multiply by the common ratio. Next, number 3, 5 blank, 20, 40 blank. So, meron tayong magkasunod na number dito. Ibig sabihin, pwede natin kunin yung common ratio. 40 divided by 20 is equal to 2. Ngayon, meron tayong first term na 5. So, para makuha yung next term, magmultiply ng 2. So, 5 times 2 is equal to 10. Dito naman, next term. Ibig sabihin, 40 times, times 2 is equal to 80. Gets nyo? Kapag pabalik, divide. Kapag papunta, multiply. Next, number 4. Kunin natin yung common ratio para makuha natin yung first term at yung last term. So, 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3. And pwede nyo namang gamitin to. 36 divided by 12 is equal to 3. Now, to find the first term, 4 divided by 3 is equal to 4 over 3. Next, pag makuha yung next term, multiply. 36 times 3 is equal to 108. Okay? Then, last example, negative 2, blank, blank, negative 60, negative 32, and negative 64. So, para makuha natin yung nandito sa gitna ng negative 2 at negative 16, kunin natin yung common ratio. Then, Para makuha natin, negative 32 divided by negative 16 is equal to 2. Negative 64 divided by negative 32 is equal to 2. Now, to find the next term, anong gagawin natin? Multiply by 2. So, negative 2 times 2 is equal to negative 4. Negative 4 times 2 is equal to negative 8. Okay, para ma-check ninyo kung tama yung mga sagot nyo, i-divide nyo lang ito divided by negative 4 is equal to 2. Okay? Is it clear? Kung meron kayong mga katunungan, just comment down below. Next, find the next three terms of the geometric sequence with first term is equal to 5 and common ratio is equal to 2 over 5. So, ang ibig sabihin, meron tayong first term na 5 at hinahanap yung next three terms. So, meron tayong tatlong hahanapin. Ang hanapin natin ay a sub 2, a sub 3, and a sub 4. Pwede nyo namang gamitin yung i-multiply ito by 5, pero kapag kailangan nyo ng solution, ganito ang solution niya. Ang formula natin ay a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. So, ang hanapin natin a sub 2 is equal to a sub 1 meaning first term, so 5 times r is 2 over 5 raise to n minus 1. So, ang n natin ay 2 minus 1. Next, 5 times 2 over 5 raise to 2 minus 1. So, 1 is equal to 5 
times 2 over 5 raised to 1 is equal to 2 over 5. Next, 5 times 2 over 5 is equal to 2. Nakakancel yan. So, ang second term natin is 2. Next, a sub 3 is equal to, ang first term ay 5, ang common ratio ay 2 over 5, raised to 3 minus 1. Is equal to 5 times 2 over 5, raised to 3 minus 1 is equal to 2, is equal to 5. 2 over 5 times 2 over 5 is equal to 4 over 25. Next, 5 times 4 over 25 is equal to 4 over 5. So, ang third term natin ay 4 over 5. Next, find the fourth term. So, ang first term natin ay 5. Ang common ratio natin ay 2 over 5. Raised to, ang n natin ay yung 4 minus 1. Is equal to 5 times 2 over 5 raised to 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. Is equal to, unahin natin yung may exponent. So, 5 times 2 over 5 raised to 3 is equal to 8 over 125. So, 5 times 8 over 125 is equal to 8 over 25. So, our fourth term is equal to 8 over 25. So, ganun lamang mga anak -sis. Maraming salamat sa inyong panonood. Kung meron kayong mga katanungan or clarifications, just comment down below. Abangan ninyo yung video ko about geometric means or how to insert geometric means at yung how to find the end term of the geometric sequence. See you next! Bye!